coast to coast are on alert for potential retaliation from Iran. That includes New York and the country's largest police force, the NYPD. ABC's Stephanie Ramos is in Times Square, one of the locations being heavily watched this morning. Good morning, Stephanie. Eva, good morning. Unfortunately, this is the type of threat New York City is used to. What's clear is that we don't know what to expect, and this is why police are stepping up their security. All they can do is prepare. Authorities say this city remains the country's top terror target, and that's why they're stepping up patrols and they're stepping up security at, quote, strategic locations. But security is also ramping up in cities like Los Angeles, Washington, D.C., after that U.S. airstrike that killed Iran's top military commander, Qasem Soleimani. The Department of Homeland Security says this is a real threat. And they also say that cyber attacks from Iran also present a big threat. Just in 2016, a group of Iranians were indicted for hacking into financial institutions like J.P. Morgan and Wells Fargo and also attempted to shut down a New York state dam. So right now... It's just a waiting period. Now, Stephanie, the military strike rattling the stock market, the Dow dropping. So this is pretty much happening right because of Iran and Morgan beefing, and then that's going to start World War Three. Yeah. yeah. Iran and Russia. The, and Morgan always beef with Iran, Russia, China, and North Korea. Those are the countries that are going to come against America. So the one happening right now, the Iran is throwing them, so they're going to pull like troops over the place. That would be martial law. Mm-hmm. It'll be checkpoints. You can go this time, curfew. Mm-hmm. At the time, you can be out. You got to show ID. So people are like, that do like, oh, let's say people that said drugs, cocaine, all of those things, they'll be getting caught now. Uh-huh. You know, they'll, they'll be like, police will be on the streets. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be having dog, like everything. They'll come with time to fish you, like, that's going to happen. That we call that martial law. Uh, you won't be able to travel before you before you will be able to travel for ID. Yeah. But this is happening because of oh, Iran turning them. So now they're gonna have like the scare now. If they believe they're gonna be like oh a tag not gonna happen, so they're gonna st- station a troop over the place. Martial law to and even something like last year, there's a lot of Walmarts. Still close, you know that, brother? Yeah. 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 That like Walmart still close because they're using that for FEMA. For FEMA. So FEMA is actually real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for real. Yeah. So let me get a scripture. Isaiah. Let me read the first scripture. Isaiah 13. If you like, if you if you do this video and then you want to put on your channel, you can if you want you can upload it to your channel. I see your tattoo. Give me your answer, chapter tattoo. If I read it and then you want to ask question, you want to make it more, you just say stop. All right. I see your chapter tattoo. This is the doom, the doom of America, of Babylon. We used to talk about America. America but, yeah. yeah, the same thing that you used to do back then is the same thing that they're doing here. The doom of Babylon, the burnings of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Lift ye up a banner, up, lift ye up a banner upon the high mountains, exalt the voice under them. Shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the noble. Let me go. Let me read the whole thing, but now I'm from the ESV. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 13. So that pretty much that's this other time we're in there. The most are pretty much the most are gonna gather like all the armies of the nation in the valley in like all oh, what's the what happening is uh, in the middle east right. Mm. There's always war over there. Yeah. What do you think that? Like there's always war over there. Like since there's always war over the war. Uh, I, right, that's what I've been thinking. Yeah. Where everything can happen in the Middle East. Everything can happen in the Middle East. Because our our land is over there. 
Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. So everybody won't go there, so they're always falling over for you. But that's what that. Our creator wanna use that to draw all the all the armies of the nation in because that's a that's a Iraq a Iran. Yeah. The most of the country America is beefing with, that's what it is. So America wanna go there as well. Oh. Because that's what the creator gonna trap them. That's when you wanna judge them. So they're gonna be over there forcing, ready fighting and then that's when yeah, who's gonna come. Like we're already in that town. You see, like the armies, they always putting troops in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the creator gonna gather them over there, and then that's when you gonna come. But then they will try to wage war against the Abushu, but then they gonna discard them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, we're almost, almost about to go home. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is life like living. We gotta pay bills, all of these things. Yeah, we're not gonna spend it. Yeah, one more out of here. <laughs> so maybe I see that. Yeah. Okay. And like that's it before you before we leave out of here, right? We gotta know where we're going. Yeah. We gotta know who we are. Yeah. You gotta know you're not belonging yeah, you don't you don't even belong in the world. That's you wanna true. leave this place. You should have that mindset and the creator gonna look at that. You know. Yeah. Especially when you know you're not know you about something. You know about something you have knowledge about it. Yeah. But our land is in the Middle East, every part of Africa, that's why. Africa is way better than this place. Everything we need, Africa yeah. is there. It's just that like people are just corrupt. And we in slavery, yeah, so. We in slavery, yeah. yeah, that's true. Even if we can make 10 rounds until our slavery is over. Isaiah chapter, chapter 13. So this Isaiah chapter 13 is a proclaiming mission against Babylon, which Babylon is America. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It said, oh, Oracle concerning Babylon, the Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw on a bare hill, raised a signal, cry aloud to them, with the hand for them to enter the gates of the nobles. I myself have commanded my consecrated ones, my consecrated ones, have some of my warriors, my proud exalted ones, to execute my anger. So what what yeah what he's doing is yeah what I'll create it. gonna make it that all you wanna get all the nations, the army people in in the Middle East to judge them. But yeah, we'll have to set the trap so our creator is smart. So what they're gonna use is because they, everybody wanna get the land right. So the yeah, what is causing that America to be for Iran, so the troops, American troops will go in that land. You guys wanna go there and then the creator gonna come and judge them. So you're causing that the beef that happened between Iran and, and uh, America is privacy that gonna not gonna happen. Uh, yeah. It's privacy and America not gonna go to war, but they already pissed Iran off. Yeah, that's true. They already killed him, man. Like you kill it, you kill like general, yeah, like, yeah, they gotta yeah. do something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody gonna look at him like like bitch if they don't do something. Like <laughs> we're talking general out, what are you gonna do about what it? What you gonna do about yeah. it? Yeah, that's how it is. That's yeah. how it is. So Iran gotta do something about it. Yeah. And that's what they scared. They say, oh, they put in like troops, bomb squad everywhere. And that's gonna that's gonna come with time that's they're gonna be all around America. Mm. They already have been because if you think about the America, they got they got different type of armies now. Yeah. Each one prepared for something different else. True. Sure, and yeah. right now they got a space force. <laughs> because the message is coming from up there. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> they come from up there, so they gotta make a new branch of Military they call it space force. On a bare hill, raise a signal, cry aloud to them, wave the hand for them to enter the gates of the noble. So you see Trump building war, that's because the Mexican people they're trying to come in America. Yeah. Um, yeah. Either way that war gonna fall. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah. yeah. People are gonna hop over that thing. They're gonna <laughs> crack you know they hide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With the hand for them to enter the the gates of the of the noble, so the Mexican want to come here. I myself have commanded my consecrated ones, have some my warriors, my proudly exalted ones, to execute my anger. Listening a tumult on the mountain, as of a great multitude, listening an um, an uproar. I'm, I'm sorry. Let me get some water. <laughs>
listening a turmoil on the mountains as of a great multitude listening an uproar of nations of nations gathering together Yahuwah of hosts is mustering an army for battle so the Yahuwah is, is causing the nation to be in beef that America America and or Iraq they're going to be beefing that America going to send troops over there so it's created like doing all those things yeah because one of the greatest when you, when Yahushua is coming, that's the only thing that's going to happen. The, the, the nation will be fighting against each other. What they fight in the end, when they see the Messiah, mm. they're going to turn against him. Uh, it's pretty much like exactly what's going to happen. So that's going to have it right in the Middle East. That's why it, the tension right now is hitting us so much. Yeah, Uwa of Host is mustering an army for battle for World War III. They come from a distant land, from the land from the ends of the of the earth, of the heavens. So Iraq, Iran they come from a different place. But they beefing with America, all they want is uh but yeah, we're gonna make it that America gonna send a troop in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Which is where our land is. They come from a distant land, from the ends of the heavens, Yahweh and the weapons of his Indian nations to destroy the whole earth. So they're gonna be like bombs flying over the place, like little bombs. That like everybody got nuclear nuclear bomb around. They're gonna start firing like so there's nuclear war coming. It's right around the corner, like right right around the corner. It's a world for the day of the war is near. It will come like discussion from the Almighty. Therefore, all hands will be feeble and every human heart will melt and they will be dismayed. Thanks and agony or pain will seize them. They will be in anguish like a woman in labor. They will look they will they will look aghast at one another. Their faces will be a flame. See the day of the hour comes cruel with wrath and fierce anger to make the earth a desolation. I will create a consuming fire when the creator come and the whole earth gonna be burned up. And the no gonna come too so it's like you know how the first floor how the first war with this girl? Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, how, how did the most I girl the first or with whatever element whatever element uh, or Noah. The story of Noah. Why have been Wasn't the one with the hurricanes and uh, mm -hmm. uh, it was like floor. Uh, yeah. the floor. Yeah, it was between nowhere, right? But now the same thing gonna happen, but it won't, it won't be like floor water, it'll be fire. Uh, the crater is coming with fire, and then the nation gonna nuke this place. They're gonna set a bomb over the place. So every, the whole earth gonna burn up. Everything gonna burn up. The first night was floor, but now it's gonna be fire. And just as high as the water was above the earth. So the fire gonna be the fire gonna reach all, all the way in the sky. Like, you gonna see it, but you gonna we gonna be fiery beings so that fire gonna affect us. Yeah, yeah. Very much. Yeah. Every heart will be every help every heart will melt, and they will be dismayed. Faint and agony will seize them. They will be in anguish. They go in labor. They will look and gnash at each other. Their faces will be a flame. See the day of your overcomes. A crew. See the day of your overcomes. Crew with wrath and fierce anger to make the whole earth, to make the earth desolation and destroy it sinners from it. For the stars of heaven and their constellations will not give their light. Their sun will be dogging at it rising and the moon will not sh will not share it light. So when the creator come in, there'll be no moonlight and no sunlight. So the day that thing happen, that's when you know Yahushua is coming. So that's the top sunlight. When you see like no sunlight, no moonlight, that means the creator is coming here. Yet what's our punish the wicked for its evil and the wicked 
for their iniquity. I will put an end to the power of the arrogant and lay low the insolence of tyrants. I will make mortals more more weight, more rare than fungo. So the people that are gonna be saved are only those that are working. People are going to be saved at the end. Uh, one of those that are working, people that sleep, is that let's say you sleep in your house right, and then someone started fire. If you not wake up, what are, what going to happen to you? You burn. You gonna burn. Yeah. But if you wake up, you escape. Is that me? You know? Safe. Yeah. Is that we tell people and then if they get it, then they get it. If it's not for them, then it's not for it's them. They move to the next person. That's true. Yeah. For the stars of heaven and the constellations will not give the light, the sun will be dark at its rising, the moon will not share its light. Yet, was I will punish them, the world for its evil and the wicked for the iniquity? I will put an end to the power of the arrogant and lay low the insolence of tyrants. I will make mortals more rare, more rare than fine gold and humans. Then the go of offer. So the people that are gonna be saved are those that are working and then a lot of people don't want to come from the system. They don't want to come from out of the metrics. Yeah, so that people at the end they're gonna get this girl. So the people that are, the actually that work is me, you, and the brothers and the sister out there. So there's people that in the world that what you believe, what I believe, the same thing how we think, yeah. there's people out there we can connect with. You can find out people, but like, just like you found me, how I found you, how like we connect, right? Yeah. You, it's people out there you can connect with those people as well. Yeah. It's meant for you to for you to see those people. And now let's talk about how. The nation that the most is bringing against. Thirteen seventeen. The nation of the most has been against against America, which is is Iraq or Iran. But in the Bible, they will, they will be called the Medes. There's the Persians, and then there will be the Medes. They will come against America. So they get a scripture for that. Isaiah, Yeshaya, Yesaya chapter 13. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 17. Okay, let me read for the 13. Isaiah 13, 13. The Moses says, Therefore, I will make the heaven tremble, and the earth will be shaken out of out of its place. So when the creator comes, there's going to be a big earthquake. That everybody's going to know this. Therefore, I will make the heavens tremble, and the earth will be shaken out of its place at the wrath of the war of hosts. In the day of his fierce anger. 14. Like a hunter gets up, or gets up, or like sheep with no one to gather them, all will turn to their own people, and all will flee to their own land. So when the Creator comes in, everybody's gonna go to everybody. Chinese people are gonna go to China. Yeah. Yeah. That's where they come from. We that come from, we don't know where we come from. We come from Africa. But well, even in our, in our own land, when I get a, it's not like perfect, right? Our own land is not perfect for us. So we we know we are children of Israel. We know Africa. Or we try to go to Jerusalem because that's where we come from. Yeah. Yeah. So in that day, we're gonna learn. We're gonna know where our land is. The Chinese will go to China. The American people they will stay because that's where they from. Or they go back to Europe. And then the Japanese, they'll go back to Japan. People, the people, they'll be really running to their own places. Okay, you see, like a hunter gets up, or gets up, or like a sheep with no one to gather them. All will turn to their own people, and all will flee to their own lands. Whoever is from, will be told us to do. And whoever is caught will fall by the sword. Their infants will be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses will be plundered and their wives ravished. Alright, so this is the thing that's going to happen. 
to the other nations we go out doing slavery when they capture our ancestor they let, they let them kill they kill the people so the same thing like yeah yeah we're going to cause the other nation to, to experience that women are going to get raped like children will just take they will take them and that's that and then i read seventeen it says Seventeen is yet was the sea. I'm staring up the Medes against them, who have no regard for silver, and do not delight in gold. So the Medes that yet was staring against our against America is the nation they beef with right now, which is what it's Iraq or Iran, right? Mm -hmm. Because they kill the they kill the general, and now the people have to do something about it. Yeah. They gotta start war. So what yet yeah, yeah, what the Mosai is doing is he's using the, the, uh, the Iraqi, he's stirring them against Babylon and America. So they'll go to war. So America will go in the Middle East. So could the greater whole plan is to get America in the Middle East because yeah. Russia already there. Yeah. Russia there, Iraq, Iran there. He remain for for America and Great Britain to go there. Yeah. And then the greater gonna come. So like the Messiah, the second coming of the Messiah is right around the corner. I can say like tomorrow, but it could take like month. Yeah. But it's right around the corner. This is what I said, what happened. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 17. Yet what says, yet what Moses says, says, see, I'm staring up the maze, which are the, the Iraqi people, or the Iranians, against them who have no regard for silver. Because America, like, everybody uses American money, mm -hmm. and they, they can do it on the oil. On the you have a petrol data, mm -hmm. so that you gotta like say if the other country want to buy oil, they're gonna use American money. Yeah, they're America make profit. But now, the people, the the Iraqi people, they not care about American money. They won't kill. They won't kill them. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So yeah, what says? See, I'm stepping up the maze against them, who have no regard for silver. They don't want American money no more. They have no value to them because what they. Mm -hmm. What they did, they disrespected them. Yeah. yeah. Who have no regard for silver, and do not have, and do not delight in gold. Their bows will slaughter the young men. We just talking about that nukes and the missiles. Because I run can some of them in your right grab. They can shoot boy arrow. Wait a moment. So my bad. Some so like someone in Iraq. They're not gonna shoot bull, but I'm afraid to reach out in America, so they're talking about, uh, talking about nukes. And yet, what's that? They do not delight in gold. Their bulls will start to the young men. They will have no mercy on the foot of the womb. Their eyes will not pity children. As Babel and Babylon, the glory of Canaan, the, sp the splendor or power of the Chaldeans will be like Sodom and Gomorrah. When you get over, over to do them. So the same with the most like the school son of Gomorrah, America gonna be the school as well. So this is I think we're seeing that Iraq, yet what is staring staring the, the Iraqi people against the American people mm -hmm. trying to get them to go in the Middle East. Yeah. Let me get a scripture for that. And if you wanna if you wanna read along, we'll go to the book of Joel or Yahweh. Oh. You're like everything that wanna happen is already prophesied. So if we read it, we know what it so the Mosa is stemming up the Iraqi, the Iranian people against against America to get to go into the Middle East. And the proof the proof for that is the proof, the proof for that is Joel, Yahuwah, which means Yah is my Almighty. Yahweh said for then, in those days, and at that time, when I restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem. So, we're gonna, we're gonna come into knowledge to who we are, who Yahuwah our Creator is, and then Yahweh gonna gather the nation into in the Middle East. Yeah. So as soon as we know who we are, that Yah is our Creator, then. The most I would gather the nation in the Middle East for him to come to punish them because in that land 
It's what going to be at all the armies of the nation. And then Yahushua come and punish the nation. He's going to destroy them in that land. Then we'll go back home. For then, in those days, at that time, when I restore the fortune of Yehuda in Jerusalem, or Jerusalem, I will gather all the nations and bring them down to the valley of Yehoshaphat, which is the Middle East, and I will enter into judgment with them, with them there, on account of my people and my heritage, is my heritage, Yeshua or all Israel, because they have scattered. They have scattered them among the nations. So the nations saw us. They chose Atlanta slavery. We got scattered. They have scattered all them among the nations. And have divided my land. And have divided my land. And cast life for, for, for my people. Cast lot for my people. So, you know, like Africa is like, if you think about Africa and the Middle East is connected, right? And then they split it. They're not supposed to do that. So they want to create a country and judge all the nations for doing that. So the main point was that uh, as we wake up, we know who we are, who Yahuwah is, who Yahushua is. We come in the night, we're working, and then the Mosa. We want to guide all the nations in the, in the Middle East, which we are seeing those things that any people that the Creator are going to use to, go, to get America to go in the Middle East is Iraq. Because it, this way that it means. Yeah. We are Israelites, and the, the Iraqi people will be the means. So, yeah, well, it's going to cause them the force that they're going to send troops in the Middle East. So, we read it again. Yeah, what says, for then, in those days, and at that time, when I restored the fortunes of Judah, Yehuda, and Jerusalem, I will gather all the nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will enter into judgment with them, on with them there, on account of my people and my heritage, Yashuri, all because they have scattered them among the nations, they have divided my land and cast lot for my people and treated boys for prostitutes and so girls for wine and drink it down and yet what say what are you are you to me O Tari and Saddam and all the region of Palestine of Palestine oh you see Palestine we talking about all the Palestinian people so this is like put a soul like you ever hear like Africans so Africans? Mm, no, I I haven't I have heard it. But like like every like this is every time they bring us slavery right and then if the white people there they will say we did not we did not sell you, it's the African that saw you. Yeah. And then the reason they say that is because the people in Africa which are actually Israelites and then the black American will say it's your Africans that saw us. Yeah. So that's what they, they want to say. When it says the African that saw the African, it, they, what they want to do is, the white men want to do is, the black American, they're going to think it's us, their brother, that saw them. Yeah. Because they call us African, and they couldn't say African American. So it's like that beef, they want for you to continue. Is the description of the temple photo. My future of chapter 24, which these things that are happening right now as we speak, the nation gonna be gonna get about wars and rumors of war. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Well, like in the end time, that we're going to get what you're saying. When the nation are fighting against each other, that's when the Messiah will come. So, the time of us going home is actually close, very close. So, let me read Matthew chapter 24, verse 1. As Yahushua came out of the temple and was and was going away, his disciple came to, to point out to him the buildings of the temple. Then Yahushua asked them, You see all these things? You see all these? Do you not? Truly I tell you, not one stone will be left here upon another. All will be turned down. So the Messiah was probably saying that. The temple that Solomon built, we're gonna get this girl. And when they get this girl, then the Greek or the the Greek, which everybody can be traced back to the Bible. So somewhere the Israelites, mm -hmm. our enemies will be the Greek, which are there. The people that sold us the slavery. Yeah. Yeah. They broke the temple down there, they scattered us, they sold us the slavery. So that's exactly what happened. So how will you enter in Africa? We're not really African if you think about it. We're not really African, but we're in Africa because the temple was destroyed and we got kicked out of the land. So now the Jewish people are in the land. Yeah. It's a sign of the end of the age. It's when Yahushua was sitting on the Mount of Olive, the disciple came to him privately saying, Tell us, when will this be and what will be the sign? Of your coming in the end of the age. So when the Messiah was saying that, the, the father was coming to him and said, Tell us the future. What's going to happen when you come in the second time? What sign was it? What it going to be? All right. So we are living now. We're going to watch out for those things because you don't want the Messiah to come. We're not expecting it, right? Yeah. yeah. When you come, you, when your creator comes, you got to know that your creator is coming. So see, see me, you are one of those things. We can tell people about it. Through love, we can tell people. And we're going to get rewarded for doing that as well. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be like seven people. So in the issue, we're like, we know knowledge, we're going to know something, and then we'll tell people. We'll be like, Superman, I want to serve somebody. You know the future, you know what's happening, mm -hmm. you want to serve people. Yeah. It's like being making disciples. When Yahushua was sitting on the Mount of Olives, Olives the disciple came to him privately saying, Tell us, when will this be? And what will be the sign of your coming? And it's in the end of the age. So they were asking what sign of the, of Yahushua's second coming. Yahushua answered answer them, Beware that no one leave you astray. So the first thing he said is, Be careful that no one, no one deceive you. Because if you think about it right now, People believe that the Messiah is who? In their own eyes, they believe that <laughs> the Messiah is this person. Yeah, the yeah. white man. He is a white man. So what the Messiah was saying, be aware that nobody deceive you, nobody trick you. Yeah. No one tell you that Jesus is the Messiah, that this person is the Messiah, or that Yahushua is the real Messiah. So me aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yahushua said, be aware that no one no one leave your screen. For many will come in my in my name, saying I am the Messiah. They will lead many astray, and you will, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. All right. So we hear of wars and rumors of war, of over three, which you have seen between all. Between America, and all. In Iraq. You read the, the plane that fell, they said that rock, that rock shut it down. Like, how do you know that? Right. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's beef, that beef between them, uh, they, ha they will have to fight. No, yeah. they have to. They have to, they got no choice. No choice. Yeah, it's right. the greater way that they fight. They, they shoot bomb at each other. Because you read the plane that like, they have no, they don't got no proof they said that, that Ryan did it. Just like, you see, I told you the brother, like, tell the <laughs> Can you read it again? Yahushua says, Beware that no one leave your script, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah, and they will leave many your script, in your year of wars and rumors of war. See that 
you you are not a lamb. So when you get a wash and rumors of what we're seeing those things now, you see, Yahushua said for this must take place. But the end is not yet. So we hear more wars and rumors of war. Yeah. But they're going to continue. Going to continue until they have to fight. For the nation will rise against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms. And there will be famine. There will be famines. And earthquakes in various places. All this. All this. Is but the beginning of the birth of the of the birth things so uh, america gonna be for all the country then they're, they're gonna be filming which there is a family you got the food that we eat right now sir it's not real food yeah. right so that's for me if you think about it right yeah we're not eat real food but yo know, how you say this word the switch away with fake food so that's family we'll have enough to eat again they would nice say then they will they will hand you over to be tortured and, and will pull you to death. So that was talking about our ancestors that they fled Jerusalem, they got chased by the white people. Mm. And like everybody hated black men, so that's probably said that the old nation wanna hate us, they can call niggers. Like everybody, everybody call you a nigger. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. That means something, something is special about you. They will hand you over to be to be tortured, and they will pull you to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of my name. So they call niggas the haters. Everybody hate the black man. That's because the black man is the chosen person. Yeah. Yeah. The black the black man is Israel. So everything about us for fair scriptures. And you'll be hated by all nations because of my name. Then many will fall away. And they will betray one, one another and hate them one another. And many false prophets will rise and lead many astray. And because, and because of the increase of lawlessness, the love of many will grow cold. But the one, the one, the one, but the one who endures the end will be saved. The, and this good news of the kingdom must be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. So when the Messiah comes in, there are going to be false prophets, which there's already here. People are going to be deceived. People in their own world. They're in the matrix. They're in the matrix. They're in their own world. But then, you got to awaken. You gotta be conscious of something that is happening. All right. And that's gonna happen. There's gonna be false prophets, there's gonna be wars and rumors of war. And the last thing that's gonna happen is uh, the good news must must be preached. When you come to the awakening, you're awakening, yeah. you must tell people. Because there's other people that are gonna believe you, right? Yeah. Then when that's happening, that's when the Messiah is gonna come. So that everyone will book number finish. So you, you will ask like how we gonna get out of here? Do you know how we're gonna get out of here? And like let's say what's when the war stuff, right? How we, how many are you gonna get out of here? Uh I'm probably thinking like the uh, what you call it the thing you're talking about, the UF UFO. The UFO? Yeah. yeah. And like it like something from the sky light flashing down. And then people it like it take you yeah. and then it suck you in. It suck you in. Yeah. That's what that's what I'll be thinking. That's what I'll be thinking. Yeah. yeah. That's gonna happen, but it will be like angels. It'll be yeah. actually real beings that gonna take me and you. They're gonna take those those like work. Show the new stuff like all that gonna happen for real. So let's go to the book of Obidiah. And we'll read Obidiah, Obidiah chapter one. We see the vision of Obidiah. Obadiah said, Thus says Yahuwah, Almighty, concerning Edom, which is the white man, our enemy. Or oh, we say Esau. We have heard a report from Yahuwah, and the messengers, a messenger had been sent among the nations. Rise up, 
let us rise up against it for battle. So all the nation, they are beefing with America. America, America is screwing everybody over. You can see that, right? Yeah. yeah. Everybody tell from of America. That everybody realized, like, that everybody waking up. Everybody getting into conscious now, like, what America is actually doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's messed up. So they will have to go to war with America. They have no choice. The dust is the Ua Almighty concerning Edom. We have heard a report from Yahuwah, and the messenger has been sent among the nations. Rise up, let us, let us rise up against it for battle. So this is the touch of the other nations, Iraq, Iran, Syria, or oh. what's Vladimir Putin, what's the country name again? Hmm. I mean, Vladimir Putin, what country is in the president of? Iraq, Iran, Syria. Mm. Okay, Russia. Yeah. So all the countries are gonna come. Even North Korea are gonna come against America. Go. America is a beef with that people, mm. but they're not forget it. Yeah. They just go. They are going from the camera to shake hand. So they fake the people that yeah, there's, there's yeah, no war right, coming. Yeah. yeah. It's like fake. What you call it? Our fake or fake handshake. <laughs> It's like they beef, but then when we're going from people, they are like they yeah, it. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah. yeah. And rise, rise up, let us rise against it for battle. Yet what's that? We should have made you the least among the nation. So all the other nations that red last in America, it's actually, they've been deceiving the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've been doing wickedness. They've been deceiving everybody. And then everybody will come now. They want to destroy her. And that's what the all the nations that put in it. Russia, like, last time I heard Russia snake here with like with with weapons and yeah. America didn't know about it. Yeah. No. Yeah, what's that? We should have make you least among the nations. And shall be utterly despised. Your poor heart has deceived you. You that live in the cleft of the rock. Who dwelling who dwelling is in the heights, you say in your heart. Who will bring me down to the ground? Yeah, right, so America is so tough that you know Trump be like, we got the best military. Yeah. They got like they got CIA, they got they got the army, they got the navy, they got the what are the other branch again? Army, the navy, air force, air force, and now they got the space force now. Yeah. And you got all oh, where's someone like be in the sea? The navy, right? The Navy, the, the, the Air Force, the Army, the Marines, and the Space Force. Mm -hmm. So America think the tough number. There's other nations that are going to come against it. First two, your, your poor hearts have deceived you. You that, you that live in the clefts of the rock, who dwelling is the heights. You say in your heart, who will bring me down to the ground? Though you sow a love like the eagle, though your nest is set among the stars, from there I will bring it down. All right, so America is going to fall. Like how beautiful the place is, it's going to fall. So like you can put your hope in it. Yeah, yeah you can be, you can be like. I mean, me, 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 yeah, me, you stay in it, right? Yeah. We're working to find our daily bread. But like. Yeah. Yeah, you can like think about having family here yeah, and resting here. Yeah, or true. say like building house. No. <laughs> because it's probably said you're gonna get this girl. So yeah. <laughs> the little thing we have like we stay we have knowledge that we're gonna leave this place. But then we shouldn't like put our hope in it. Yeah. No dreams, we shouldn't have dreams in here. Yeah, Pretty true. much that's it. So now, let's see the video that they were actually chanting death to America, death to America, because the other nation are like they are tired of it. These young American servicemen and women are the first wave of military troops arriving in the Middle East amid the growing crisis with Iran. 3,500 strong, joining the already tens of thousands of U.S. troops in the region. 
You know the script we just read, right? Tensions the, flare. The, the most I seen gonna gather the nation, so you're always causing that all the nation they're gonna gather in a minute, no matter what. So now you see America is sending troops there. That's when they're gonna be fighting, they're gonna be beefing, and then the creator gonna come right in the middle. After a U.S. drone strike last week killed Iran's top military official, General Qasem Soleimani. In the heart of Iran, a public outpouring of grief, overwhelming the streets of its capital. Trump made a big mistake. He killed our hero. Cries drowned out by angry chants. Yeah, you, you see, they're going to win better united. But no guess not really united. The West, now the, the they offended us. They were finna like the Iranians, the Iraqi, everybody. So everybody met at Murga. My colleague Martha Raditz, one of the few Western journalists allowed in the country. This procession so packed you can barely move, but the emotion is everywhere. People have a very strong message for America. They're chanting death to America. Yeah, death to America. And the schedule for that, like the people are saying, Death to America, like everybody hated America, now. everybody I opened America. That. Mm -hmm. The place is really bullshit. Like, for real? yeah, people in Africa they won't come here, but they don't know the yeah, situation. They don't know the situation. <laughs> they, know the situation. <laughs> they think like everything is, yeah, they think everything is big on here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. You don't know, but like people are opening that America is not actually what you think. What is what you see on TV is not what it is. It's not what it is. Yeah. Yeah. You're deceived on TV where you can work with them for, for them. So the schedule for that that uh, everybody got realized that America is actually bullshit. Is it let me say that word bullshit uh, it's actually bullshit kingdom, bullshit people, even the people they messed up in the hair. So everybody gonna realize that. So this is our Obi Diet chapter one. Verses 2. Let me start from 1. It said, Thus says Yahuwah Almighty concerning Edom, we have heard a report from Yahuwah, and the messenger has been sent among the nations. Rise up, let us rise against it for battle. Everybody got nukes, the one for America. Mm -hmm. So now you see what you mean, you know? He had them tough, but then. Like, people are really going, right? Yeah. They know. Yeah, no, they can't just go to war anymore. If you go to war with Iraq, Iran gonna join there, mm -hmm. Russia gonna join there. Russia already in there with them. Like you've got to think of who giving them the bombs and say. <laughs> North Korea, they they in there as well. North Korea, China, Russia, Iran, Iraq. The dust is the Ewa Almighty concerning Edom, who have heard a report from Yahweh, and the messenger has been sent among the nations. Rise up, let us let us rise against it for battle, against America. Yet what I will make, I will surely make you least among among the nations. You shall you shall be utterly despised. So now the other nation will, they're gonna hate America. They're gonna have hatred for Americans mm -hmm. and for America. That's why you see Trump say you wanna station, station our troops because of uh, some in, in scares my my bomb Americans. So that that's the fear not going in them. <laughs> so that our credit can actually control the human heart. How you feel? Yeah, how you feel? How you feel? That. Yeah, all of that. You can put your heart. <laughs> And the thing is, they gotta work with us because well, they slip, they enslave us. They yeah, gotta pay for that. They gotta pay. Yeah. yeah. So it's like they fight on every side. And you see, America. The stupid thing about that is, they got troops, troops all over the place. You can't scatter your troops now. Yeah. You gotta leave some for home. You yeah. can't scatter them everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So they messed up everything about it. the funeral service tears from iran's supreme leader ayatollah khomeini weeping and praying over soleimani's grave there are a few figures who held were held in higher esteem by the iranian people than mr soleimani he was the man who brought back pride on the ground his image everywhere 
more than a million united in their cry for revenge. Revenge. She's beautiful, bro. Is it like about as well nation, right? Kind of the like, even Jamaicans that Israelites are oh, Dominicans. So let's say if you want to try Dan, you can marry Dan woman, you can marry a global woman, you can marry this woman, you can marry that woman. So you, there's like twelve women you can choose from. And you, Within your nation, top type of women you can choose from. I'm some are light skin, some are dark skin, we're different, different, different. Soleimani, a critic of the United States, taunted President Trump in a speech in 2018. Let me tell you. President Trump has now been briefed. He's meeting with his national security team. So what's next? Will the U.S. respond? ABC's Chief White House correspondent, John of the Carl, live at the White House tonight. And John, what have you learned? We're told the president has been briefed by his top national security advisors, including the Secretary of State and the Secretary of Defense, here at the White House in the Situation Room. Iran's attack tonight hit the al-Assad Air Base in western Iraq, a place the president himself visited just over a year ago. Iran's move comes just hours after the president defended his decision to order the drone strike that killed General Qasem Soleimani. The administration is now under mounting pressure to present evidence that Soleimani posed an imminent threat. What can you tell us about what you knew prior to ordering the attack? Well, number one, I knew the past. His past was horrible. He was a terrorist. They were planning something, and uh, you're going to be hearing about it, or at least uh, various people in Congress are going to be hearing about it tomorrow. We had tremendous information. We've been following him for a long time, and we followed his path for those three days and they were not good stops we didn't like where he was so you hear what it right right you're nobody that if they want to kill people anywhere did it yeah yeah they didn't do it when i they plan a crash if you if you send nukes or a missile they did not kill nobody then they plan but they said that not that right did it so it, it kind of not make sense yeah, if you think about it, really it. Don't. yeah, yeah. it really don't make sense they send nukes and nobody die, as they say, but then they plan someone that be dying and they said I rock did it. <laughs> Uh, if we hit 29,000 on the Dow today, it might be because the president greased the skids for it when it came to Boeing. That stock was already up, but it went up a little bit further when the president said, weighing in on this plane crash, this Ukrainian Airlines plane crash in Iran that claimed 176 lives, that he does not believe that crash in Iran was due to mechanical error. He also said that something could have been done, that somebody made a mistake, and that some Something very terrible happened, essentially saying that it was not, again, not on Boeing. Now, there is already separately a report out today that the Iranians might have accidentally shot down that aircraft, something they heatedly deny. You heard that? The accidentally did it. Mm -hmm. What's the proof of that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, accidentally? If you want to do it, then it did it. It did it, yeah. But you said accidentally, that mean they, they invented it something we raised with a pilot yesterday, Kyle Bailey, who said that the timing of all of this was odd because uh, there was no drama on the flight two minutes into it when it took off, and then a catastrophic event, as he defined it, and then the crash itself. Uh, that had the inkling of maybe something that was not mechanical, but something yeah, that was sure. sudden and all of a sudden <laughs> That's what I did now, it. a lot of Pentagon officials believe that the, uh, the, the, the plane was indeed shot down. Uh, the Ukrainian line itself uh, already pro 
prompted the Ukrainians themselves to say, we cannot say that this was mechanical. Uh, so this is fueling a, a, an increasing debate that there's a reason why the uh, Iranians are 23 points away from down 29,000. As Charlie Brady, our stock senator, was reminding me before I got up here, it was only about 35, 36 days ago that we hit 28,000. So there are a lot of cross currents and developments here. Let's go to Charlie Gasparri, our Walter Wealth Management CEO, Rebecca Walter, and Jenny, uh, Chief Investment Strategist, Mark Lashini. Um, Mark, any with you, begin with you. Um, for Boeing, of course, uh, it would be an enormous uh, you know, concern if, if yet another crash was on them. But it's way too early to say one way or the other. But obviously, the reaction in the investment community is that there are a lot of have issues have issues with when it comes to the 737 max. It's going to be the same fire on So all this thing that we've seen there, privacy, with well, time. So the more we may know those things and the brothers know those things, then we're going to prepare for that time. Towards so, we've already not been on in this war. We've not been on here, so that's what we feel like there. Perhaps with this being given a rationale for some other cause away from the operation of the plane itself, it goes a long way as you can see. All right, so so this, this is the time we're in, right? Now, you seen this now? We can explain those things by the Bible. Yo, there's a privacy. We've seen that all. There's, there's always beef in the Middle East, and what what the yeah, what our creator is doing is he gathering all the nation, the armies of the nation, to gather them into the body of, into the Middle East, so he can judge them. Yeah. So, so those are the things we're in, and that's gonna happen between America, which is the top, that ruling the whole world, and then the other countries that got, that got tired of America, so they are seeing it, and they're gonna. Know, that's. That, Pretty much like when we did the World War Three, which is a nuclear war. Yeah. Yeah. When that happened before the nukes start flying, that's when our messiah gonna come. They gonna save us because we need saving. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna close the lesson up, but it's just discussing me and my brother Dan. <coughs> me and my Dan, me and my brother Dan were just discussing with scriptures that this is this is our we we in the last day and these are prophecies. Anything you want to say? No. Uh, no. Uh, hey. Hallelujah. Yeah.